Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a small road trip in my 2023 Chevy Bolt LT2. What we're going to try to find out is if it is possible to get more mileage per kilowatt hour by using a small space heater instead of using the heat in the car. So let's get started. Let's go. Okay, so it's not hooked up yet, but here is my setup. What I have is a lithium iron phosphate battery, and I used a battery that has at least 100 amp hours, uh, so that way I could actually look at the before and after using the Bluetooth in the battery. So this is kind of overkill for this experiment, but I just wanted to make sure I could get the results from the before and after capacity of this battery. And I'm also using a Red Odo 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, I have this for the car to show the temperature that's in the car right now. It's 53 degrees, even though that is not the outside temperature. My watch actually shows it to be 29 degrees. So that is the, uh, the temperature outside. And we also have a heating blanket down here in case things go uh, awry during our test and it gets really cold. But the space heater I have is actually in the front here. And it is a, uh, just an Amazon Basics 500 watt space heater. Uh, it fits perfectly in this little spot. Um, it does have a, a, a switch off, so if, if it gets knocked over, uh, it, won't, it won't cause any issues. Uh, it also actually fits really well if you set it just like this. Um, but, I mean, this is, you know, only if you own a Bolt will that really apply. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to drive one hour, so that's about 60 miles, and we're gonna be stopping at a McDonald's to get something to eat. Uh, and that whole time, we're gonna have the heat in the car set to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna have my seat heater on, I'm gonna have the, uh, the, the heater on the steering wheel on. We're gonna see what our, uh, our miles per kilowatt for that travel when we get there. And then we're gonna reset everything and just turn on the space heater along with the seat heater and the steering wheel heater, but with absolutely no heat coming from the vents. I'm just gonna turn that off completely. We'll see what the miles per kilowatt are when we get home, and we'll also see the temperature that's in the car using that, uh, that thermostat that I have in there. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got everything all set up. What I have is my battery my 2000 watt inverter. I don't have them turned on. All it is is wired up and plugged in. Uh, I'll turn it on once we start leaving McDonald's. I have the clock right there, and then I also have this heating blanket. And if you're wondering, this heating blanket, everything is actually wired to the trunk where I have another power station to power all this. So that way it doesn't uh, mess with my results. Okay, here is the settings for the car. Seat heater is gonna be all the way up. Uh, and it is set for automatic at 72 degrees and I have my uh, steering wheel heater on as well. When it comes to the car itself, let's go ahead and reset our average. There we go. So now it is set to zero miles distance and four miles per kilowatt hour, which is the default for when you reset. The car just started, so you can see that we're already using seven kilowatts of power just to heat the car up because I didn't do any preheating or anything like that. All I did was charge it up and unplug it, pull it out into the driveway, and then start the video. So let's go ahead and uh, start our trip. All right, so we made it to our destination and we are at a Dairy Queen parking lot. So let me show you what our average miles per kilowatt was and also our distance. Okay, it looks like our average uh, miles per kilowatt is 3.1. Um, our distance was 61.4 miles and we have 96 miles left on the gasometer. Um, again, I've had the seat heater. I set it to full when I first started. Uh, the steering wheel heater has been on the entire time and the temperature of the car was set to 72. Uh, if, we look at the, if we look at the temperature in the back, um, it's probably not very accurate, but it gives you something to look at. And you can see right there that it shows that the temperature inside the car in the back seat 
is 64.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, well, Keaton and I are gonna go inside to get some uh, ice creams, and uh, we're gonna let the car cool down for a little bit, maybe open a window so it gets nice and cold in here again, and then we will start the second half of this test. Okay, so we are back in the car and we are just about to start our journey home, which is another 61.4 miles, uh, which is right around an hour. And so first, let me show you uh, what the battery capacity is on that lithium iron phosphate battery. And you can see at the top that the remaining amp hours is 174.95. So we're just gonna say 175 amp hours. And uh, I wanna make sure and record that just so we can find out, you know, the minimum size of battery that you can use to heat your car basically for an hour while you're driving. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the inverter and get this heater started. Okay, I got the heater turned on and you can see from our battery in the yellow that the voltage is down to 12.89. Uh, we're drawing 40 amps and the wattage is 510, basically 511 watts being drawn out. So let's go ahead and start the car. Ice possible, drive with care, thank you. And again, we have 98 miles left on our gasometer. The distance we drove was 61.4 <clears throat> and the average miles per kilowatt were 3.1. So let's go ahead and zero that out again. Okay, turn this off. All AC is now off. We just have our seat heater on and our steering wheel on. Everything else is turned off. Okay, uh, I'll let you know what uh, the miles per kilowatt are when we get home. And I'm, also, I'm not sure if I showed you the temperature inside the car in the back seat, but here it is. All right, the temperature is 61.3 degrees back there. So we'll see what it is when we get home. All right, well, we just got back home. We drove another 60.7 miles. Uh, and first thing I wanted to let you know is that because we didn't use our um, uh, the air, the, the heater in the car, the windows, uh, they fogged up pretty good. Uh, the, I could still see just fine, but I noticed that the right side, uh, passenger side uh, windshield was fogged up and both side windows were pretty fogged up. The back window never really fogged up. So that's con number one. <laughs> uh, con number two is I didn't save any uh, battery life in my car by doing this. Check it out. You can see right there that we averaged 2.9 miles per kilowatt. Uh, the distance is 60.7 miles and I have 26 miles left on my gasometer. Uh, when it comes to the amount of energy that the battery, uh, the, the 12 volt battery that I have in the back powering this little 500 watt heater, uh, here's what it took. I have 125 amp hours left, so it took, right, it took right around 50 amp hours of capacity to run this 500 watt heater for roughly an hour, which makes sense. Uh, and then when it comes to the temperature of the car, let's look at that. And the temperature of the car is actually 58.6. So overall, the, the comfort in the car wasn't terrible. Uh, it's not something that I, I would rather use the heat that the car can provide. It's much, it's much nicer. I guess it's more, the heat is more surrounding. Uh, this is more pointed towards my, my legs. And also I wouldn't recommend doing this because you don't save any electricity from your car. I thought that on the way home, my average miles per kilowatt would be no less than 3.5 because I wasn't using my heat. And, um, it didn't make any difference. So um, thank you for watching this video. I hope it uh, maybe gave you some insight on things you can do and things that won't make a difference if you do them. So again, thanks so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.